A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens Stay 4 The Last of the Spirits Part 2 Is it good or bad? Bad. We are quite ruined. No, there is hope yet, Caroline. If he relents, there is. Nothing is past hope, if such a miracle has happened. He's past relenting? He's dead! To whom will our debt be transferred? I don't know, but before that time we shall be ready with the money, and even though we were not... It would be a bad fortune indeed to find so merciless a creditor in his successor. We may sleep tonight with light hearts, Caroline. Let me see some tenderness, spirit, please, I beg of you. I'm sorry for my lateness, my darlings. I promised him that I'd walk there on a Sunday. My little, my little child, my my little, little child. As I walked, I happened upon Mr Scrooge's nephew, who noticed I was a little down, you know, on which, for he is the pleasantest gentleman you have ever heard. I am heartily sorry for it, Mr Cratchit, and heartily sorry for your good wife. If I can be of service to you in any way, he said, giving me his card. That's where I live. Pray, come to me. Now, it wasn't for the sake of anything he might be able to do for us, so much as for his kind way that was quite delightful. It really seemed as if he had known our tiny Tim and felt with us. I'm sure we shall none of us forget poor tiny Tim, shall we? Or this first parting that was among us. And I know, my dears, that when we recollect how patient and how mild he was, although he was a little, little child, we shall not quarrel easily among ourselves and forget poor tiny Tim in doing it. I asked for compassion and caring. You have shown me. But Spectus, something informs me that our parting moment is at hand. I know it. I know not. How? Tell me what man that was whom we saw lying dead. The ghost of Christmas yet to come conveyed him, as before, the spirit stood amongst the graves and pointed down to one, Scrooge advanced towards it trembling, the phantom was exactly as it had been, but he dreaded that he saw new meaning in the solemn shape. Before I draw nearer to that snow which you point, answer me one question. Are these the shadows of the things that will be, or are they shadows of things that may be only? Men's courses will foreshadow certain ends, to which, if persevered in, they must lead. But if the courses be departed from, the ends will change. Say it is thus with what you show me. Scrooge crept towards it, trembling as he went, and following the finger... Read upon the stone of the neglected grave his own name, Ebenezer Scrooge. Spirit, hear me. I am not the man I was. I will not be the man I must have been but for this intercourse. Why show me this if I am past all hope? Good spirit, your nature intercedes for me and pities me. Assure me that I yet may change these shadows you've shown me by an altered life. 
I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. I will live in the past, the present, and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. I will not shut out the lessons they teach. Oh, tell me that I may sponge away the writing on this stone. A Christmas Carol, adapted, directed, and produced by Paul A.T. Wilson. Caroline, Laura Holm. Caroline's husband, Jay Brewer. Scrooge, Oliver Fry. Bob Cratchit, Richard Heaven. Narrator, Paul A.T. Wilson. Christmas yet to come, himself. Music, David Pudney. Sound design, Paul A.T. Wilson. Copyright 2021. This production is published under the International Creative Commons Attribution License Version 4.